It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. Saturday, Sunday. What? Yeah, it's okay. What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. And today, we're talking about Maki Okada and Now Emoto's Omidens in Your Savage Season. And I already finished the anime and the manga, where it is now streaming on Muse Asia in Southeast Asia on YouTube, including the Philippines, and also available on Sentai Filmworks in the US and other countries. So let's get a rundown about the show, and the show that you're looking for is about becoming an adult. And this is Okada's first manga work in the series after she played several projects as a scriptwriter, but also she played her position in the live action adaptation. O Maidens in Your Savage Seasons, published in Kodansha's Besatsu Shonen Magazine, centers on the member of the literature club, Kaso Sa Onodera, who tries to keep their distance from a childhood friend and next-door neighbor, Izumi Norimoto. Kaso Sa and the entire members of the literature club consist of Nina Sawarara, a melancholic girl who ignores the boys because of a harassment experience, Momoko Sudo, a shy girl who likes other girls and begins to be interested in relationship with the guys, Rika Sonisaki, the president of the literature club who is ashamed of her interest because of her strict upbringing and serious nature, and Hitoha Hongo, a mysterious short girl who writes novels including erotica. The question is, what's one thing you want to do before you die? And the answer is S E Cos. Okay, this show is rated R18, so listen to it at your own risk. It's all about sex. Little do they know, the world with unleashed by that word pushes each of these girls with different backgrounds and personalities onto their own clumsy, funny, painful, and emotional paths toward adulthood. In order to save the club from immediate disbandment, five young girls must work together to keep both their sanities and their club alive. This is Mario Kada's first manga work after she wrote several projects including her position as a series composition and screenplay in different anime titles such as movies, series, and OBAs as well as live action projects. Her works such as Vampire Night, Sasami, Toradora, Black Butler, Anohana, AKB0048, and Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans anime series as well as a Whisker Away animated film. I watched her Blue Sky last year before the pandemic together with my little brother and a friend before moving on to the next. I would like to shout out to Patricia Lorenzo, also known as Patty, that I'm going to check out the movie before mall storing while my parents are away because they attend a party from one of his or her office mates. Her Blue Sky is an animated film produced by Cloverworks together with anime director Tatsuyuki Nagai, character designer Masayoshi Tanaka, and writer Okada centers on an aspiring musician, Aoi Aoi, where she met Shino. She must reunite with her older sister who fell in love with a struggling guitarist. I asked her about the facts on Okada's works. Back to O Maidens, and the anime is a very good show where the characters are shined made by Emoto and Okada. What I like the most for the show is Kasusa. It's because she has problems on getting prepared on becoming an adult person and introduces some new emotional development which ties into their sexuality. This is Emoto and Okada's idea on mixing a typical teenage drama that one usually finds in shonen and shoujo titles to instead focus on subtler issues that gives the manga and anime a sense of realism and a higher purpose. Each moment pushes the story along without it feeling sparing, rust, lagging, or over-editing. It has such a natural flow and the author has a such wonderful natural sense of pacing that leaves the reader wanting more with each successive chapter. The entire show felt like a roller coaster, and I was felt great with joy while watching these girls try their best to understand their emotions and how to properly express them, which is something most popular of all ages find difficult to do so. If you take a teenage soap opera, 
add some sex jokes and make an anime version out of it, the result would be something similar along the lines of the series. It goes without saying the show appears to be a cliché romantic drama about teenagers growing up. The journey to growing up isn't without obstacles, and for the literature club, they learn that the hard way. The manga series ran from December 2016 to December 2019, releases eight book volumes, and adapt them into an animated series from July to September 2019, and a live action series from September to October 2020. Mango Yokoyaki Scum Squeeze is like Cool Intentions anime, while Old Maidens is like a mix of ECA, Yes God Yes, and Not Another Deep Movie. Or maybe I should add American Pie to the mix. This anime encapsulates love and kind of desire from the point of view of teenage girls in a serious manner, something most anime will tend to shy away from doing. It tells people that girls are sexual beings just like men and they have to come to terms with their sexuality, while understanding that everyone is an individual who may have a different approach to come to terms with themselves. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Follow Jeff 11 Magister on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and subscribe on YouTube at youtube.com slash kfaboy. Well, that's about it for Jeff's podcast. This is Jeff. We'll see you in the next podcast.